Argentina has long been known for its political corruption. And Pamela and Mingo know firsthand what this is all about. They're known as punteros or middlemen. Their job, buying the votes of thousands of people in the slum known as Villa Soldati. Mingo and Pamela agreed to take us into the darker side of politics in Argentina. This is how it works. People come into their homes, they get a box of food and sign up to vote. No computers here, just names and payments, handwritten in a dirty notebook. I come to pick this food up and for 50 pesos I will get to vote. So how do they get paid? Each puntero has a special way to fold the ballot. Pamela's is three folds and then to the right. For every vote she brings, the political party behind a candidate pays Pamela 50 pesos, the equivalent to $15. All this, of course, behind closed doors. I ask them if they are bothered by their being part of the corrupt political system. Pamela doesn't care who she works for, as long as the money continues to flow. Now she's double-dipping, working for political opponents Cristina Kirchner and Roberto Lavagna. I can work for anyone, even two politicians at the same time. We know that what we do is not right, buying votes, but I still feel I'm giving the people something. Mingo sees himself as a modern-day Robin Hood, taking from the rich, giving to the poor, and keeping a little for himself. I wouldn't do it if I didn't get paid. But politicians abuse the people that live in these conditions. They play with hunger. So if I can get these people some money in exchange of a vote, so be it. The punteros' role is not only to get people to vote, but making sure that the crowd is always there. We're heading to Cristina Kirchner's closing ceremony, and almost everyone in this bus has been paid 20 pesos to go. It is finally election day. Pamela's job is almost done. The voters get the folded ballots. The money gets distributed. Although it's not clear how big is the impact of the middlemen in the outcome of the elections, we were able to film how 16 people were paid to vote. And they're off, to cast the votes that will define the future of the country for the next four years. All for 50 pesos. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires, Argentina.